What's up guys, Gabe Flo here, and today I'm going to show you how to play this guitar riff. I like to split up this guitar riff into four parts. I will also put the guitar tabs on the screen so that you can follow along. This guitar riff is the interlude section in my new song that just came out, 27 Club. You can stream it on all platforms. The links will be down in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy the tutorial and here we go. So the first part is gonna sound like this. It's going to start with an F minor nine arpeggio. All right, you've got six string first fret, followed by three followed by five, and then followed by one, okay? What you are going to do is that you're going to use your right hand to palm mute the sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string. Then you will let go of the palm mute for the third string first fret. It should sound like this. And if you don't know how to palm mute, what you do is that you take your right hand and you let the bottom palm lay on top of the strings that you want to muffle. You usually put your palm right next to where the bridge is. After that, we're going to a C minor seven. All right, that is basically just the fifth string third fret, followed by one, and then followed by three. After that, we're gonna hit a D flat major seven with a hammer on on top. That's basically going to be the fifth string fourth fret, followed by three, followed by three. But this last three that we have on the third string is going to hammer on the fifth fret. I'm going to do that with my pinky. So far we have this. After you hit that, you're just gonna lift your hands so that the sound gets cut short. After the D flat major seven, we're going to hit the second string fourth fret, and then we're going to hit the fifth string fourth fret. It should sound like this. After that, we're going to follow it with this nice little lick. It's basically going to be the third string fifth fret, sliding very quickly into three, pulling off to one, and then you hit the fourth string third fret, pull off to one. This is how it should sound. And the whole guitar part should sound like this. Here's part number two. That is going to start on a B flat minor nine arpeggio. And the same thing as before, what we are going to do is that those three low notes, we are going to palm mute them with our right hand. And then the next note after that will be a, just a regular note that's rung out. So that B flat minor nine is going to be the fifth string first fret, followed by three, followed by five, and then followed by two. After that two, you're going to hit the second string first fret. After that, you're gonna hit a C7, all right, which is going to be the fifth string third fret, fourth string second, third string first fret, and then what you're gonna do with that first fret is that you're going to hammer it on two frets above, which will make that chord a C7. So far we have this. After that, you're gonna have this nice little lick. That little lick is going to be palm muted for the most part. It's gonna be the third string first fret, followed by third fret, back to one, and then you're going to hit the third fret and do that movement, which is basically just the third fret, third string, slide up to five, slide back down to three, and then pull off to one. So that lick should sound like this. So part two should sound like this. Here's part three. All right, so to play part three, we started off the same way as we did part one. We are going to palm mute the first three notes, which is gonna be the sixth string first fret, followed by three, followed by five, and then we are going to hit the third string first fret as a regular note. After that, we're gonna jump with our pinky to the second string sixth fret. After that, we are going to hit a D flat major nine chord. Okay, so far we have this. After that, we have this little lick. That's basically going to be the second string fourth fret pull off to second fret, and then slide to one. After that, we are going to hit a D flat major seven with a hammer on, like we did before, which is basically frets four, three, three, and then hammer on to five. And then when we get to that D flat major seven, we are going to do this movement, which is basically the third string fifth fret sliding up to six, sliding back down to five, and then pulling off to three. 
it should sound like this. So part three should sound like this. And here's part four. Very short and it is basically a replication of what we did in part two. We start off with a B flat minor nine arpeggio and we are going to palm mute the first three notes of that arpeggio and then play the fourth note just regular. And that arpeggio, remember it's fifth string first fret followed by three, followed by five, and then followed by two. After this pinky, we are going to hit a C major chord, which is going to sound like this, which is going to be frets three on the fifth string. Then you've got fourth string fifth fret and second string fifth fret. And then once you put it all together, you should have this. So happy practicing, I hope you guys like that riff. And if you wanna check this song out, you can click the link in the description to stream on all platforms. The song is called 27 Club and you can find this guitar riff within the song in like the middle section. And also before I forget, I'm also hosting a guitar giveaway. Click the link in the description to also check out how to enter if you haven't already. And guys, have a great week, God bless, and I'll see you for the next one.